Millions of people have a heart condition called AFib that can limit what they can do. Medication can help, but it doesn't fix the problem. Health editor Dr. Maria Simber shows us how a new treatment offered here may finally be the fix patients are looking for. Catherine Reveal had an abnormal heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation, or AFib. I had palpitations, really, really strong palpitations um, that were disabling. She tried medications and endured eight shocks to the heart. Nothing worked to keep it in normal rhythm. Her heart wasn't beating effectively. She couldn't walk without it racing. She had trouble breathing. My hospitalizations became more frequent. The stays were longer. One was 23 days. With AFib, instead of just one area, multiple areas in the top chamber tell the heart to beat. With so many signals, the bottom chambers beat irregularly. Our goal is to make them feel better. Our goal is to help prevent a stroke. Ten years ago, heart surgeon Dr. Andy Kaiser invented a procedure to control AFib, particularly for people who have been in it for a long time. While the patient is under general anesthesia, Dr. Kaiser goes in through a small incision in the upper abdomen, reaches the outside of the heart with tubes and scopes, he burns a pattern into the outside of the heart muscle. In the same procedure, another heart doctor, called an electrophysiologist, goes through the groin and up to the heart with a catheter to burn a pattern on the inside of the upper chamber. And by doing them together, it forms a pattern that creates a maze-like pattern without having to stop the heart, without having to open the, ch having to open the chest. This maze-like pattern corrals the abnormal impulses in the upper part of the heart so they don't travel to the pumping lower part of the heart. About 80% of patients who have been in chronic atrial fibrillation who have the procedure, a year later, on our 24-hour monitor, have no atrial fibrillation. This is compared to 40% at one year with medication. Of course, there are risks things like infections and bleeding and strokes and even dying. Death occurs in less than a half percent. The procedure is covered by insurance and is done all over the world now. This is a procedure we invented in my basement in North Carolina and they're having meetings about it in Rome, Italy. But it isn't done at every hospital because it requires a special team of an experienced heart surgeon working with an experienced electrophysiologist. If you don't have a partnership, it ain't gonna work. So far, Dr. Kaiser has done three cases like this at St. Clair Hospital since arriving in January. Catherine was the first. Because it was the first time that they were doing it, they were so ready for me. Everything was in place. The level of excitement around it and the enthusiasm really makes it easy. It takes three months for all the inflammation to settle down. Catherine needed another shock to the heart when a bout of AFib occurred after her procedure, but her function has greatly improved. I don't feel any more palpitations. My heart rate is at a steady in the 60s. I can breathe. I can walk from room to room. I'm not dependent uh, on my family so much as I was. And I'm looking forward to being able to walk my dogs again. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.